That's the sound. It's the sound I like. I, it's a, I try and tune my drums similar. I want to sound like Brian Blade. together Eddie Palmieri and that rhythm section that he had in the 60s oh, oh. Oh. and and uh, and then and then and then Elvin and his rhythm and then uh, Paco and his rhythm wow that would be quite a you just quite a mix. mix all that stuff together <laughs> quite a mess <laughs> that's a lot of rhythm there. <laughs> that's a lot yeah of it. Somebody be on top and somebody be No, back. no, but you don't you don't you don't bring the, the physical rhythm, you bring the, the three concepts. Yeah. You mix them into a concept and it turns out this color, whatever it is. Gumbo. Yeah. Gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> It's the story of the symbol that Roy gave me back in 1968 or so, when I was working with the Stan Getz Quartet when I first met Roy. And uh, that symbol, or this symbol, I should say, I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay, we're continuing now. That's the symbol. And... Uh, As you can see uh, here, see, get a shot of that. See, in 1998, a long time later, Roy signed the symbol for me. This is the symbol that was uh, on the first Return to Forever album. Um, well, first of all, it was the symbol that was on Now He Sings, Now He Sobs. And that's when we were playing with, uh, uh, Roy and I were in uh, Stan Getz's band. Along with, uh, along with Steve Swallow, who, who got me the gig in the first place. And I like that symbol so much. I like the symbol so much. It worked so well with him that after he gave it to me, I encouraged the drummers that worked with me to uh, use it. So I had to use this on the first Return to Forever album, uh, and on Light as a Feather as well. Um, Barry also used this when we played with Circle, with Dave Holland and Anthony Braxton. And um, 
Then uh, Jeff Ballard used this when we played, we had the trio with uh, Abishai Cohen and Jeff. And I'm not sure whether Marcus played this. Marcus Gilmore is Roy Haynes' grandson. And, uh, but, uh, but Marcus had some of his own cymbals made. This is one of them. It's a different style. It's a little bigger, 